Welcome back everyone. I have another layout for you for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. I will leave a link in the description below. And as per my usual style, I started by picking my photos. The photos are of a ghost tour we did at Genolvan Caves. And then I started looking for my papers. So the papers are the core products for the month of July and they're from the Off Antique range. And I believe that's the Solitude collection. I also picked out a few other bits and pieces that I might use, not sure, but we'll see how this layout comes along because I didn't follow a sketch this time, I just wanted to enjoy the creative process. Now I realised that I wanted to map my photos and I know that on the camera this looks like a orangey cardstock, it's actually red because the plaid paper that I chose has actually got a bit of red in it and I'm just going to trim it down to more or less the size of the embossing folder. I'm going to confess I completely have forgotten about my embossing folders. It's probably been well a couple of years since I've used any of them and the only reason it came into being this time around was I happened to look up and I saw the the, the box that says embossing folders and I went oh that will give you the give me the texture that I'm after. So I pulled the box down and lo and behold I had this gorgeous snowflake embossing folder. And I started going through my embossing folder and going, wow, I had no idea what was in there. So it was like shopping in my own little room. And look at that texture. I absolutely love it. So thank God that I looked up and there was my box. So for some reason, I'm not completely happy with just the red matting. So I pulled the photos off and I'm going to give them a small mat of black cardstock all around. I used my perfect layers ruler as you know this is my favorite go-to I love the fact that I can get all sides precisely the same so I'm going to put that back on and then you're going to see that I tear the photo back off because for some reason the red is really in your face and I don't like it I want to tone it down so I get out my black distress oxide and with a little makeup brush it's a very soft makeup brush. I'm just going to lightly go over those embossed areas. So I absolutely love the look that this gives to the paper and it just it, it tones down all that red but at the same time it gives more of an eerie sort of midnight feel to it which is the look that I was going for because it is midnight. We are on a ghost tour so I didn't really want party red on my layout. And I put my photo back down and then I decide, oh, it needs something else. But I, you know, I compare the two and I really, really love how that added black on the embossing makes everything stand out and tones down the red. So I decide, you know what, it needs another matting. So I get out my black cardstock there and I'm going to give it a third mat of this black cardstock. And yes, it, I really do believe that. It's just what it needed. I don't normally give three mats to my photos, but this time around, I think it really was um, called for. It helped the photos stand off the layout. So I did that to all three photos and loving how that looks. Uh, but a bit time consuming, yes, but really worth it. I, at the end, it uh, gave it that little, it tied it into the layout more. I really, I really can't explain it, but sometimes it really is worth making that little effort. So bringing my papers back in from Authentique and I love that plate paper and that's why I wanted the red card stock because the paper, the photos were going to blend too much in with that plate background. So by putting the uh, red card stock and the black card stock and embossing it, it just sort of made the photos all pop off the page and they're the star of the show and not the plate background. So with that plate paper, I just trimmed an inch off two sides and then I spent a considerable amount of time playing with the placements of my photos. As I usually do, I decided I wanted to ink my edges of my paper and I just used my Distress Oxides in black soot. And then I've had the, for some reason, inspiration hit and I, do, I wanted to distress all my sides. So I get out my distressing tool and I'm just going to rough up all the all four edges. I don't think I make you watch me do that. And I really, really love the texture that this adds. I don't do it a lot, but when I do do it on same layouts, it's called for. And for me, as I was walking through the caves and everything, they're sort of rough. And I wanted to bring some of that sort of rough texture in the caves that, you know, stones and all that into my layout. So that's how 
I incorporate it into my layout by just uh, tearing, well not tearing, but distressing the edges and then I go in and ink them with my black salt distress oxide. I land up doing this or distressing all four sides and then inking them with the oxide so I hope I don't make you watch the whole process because it could get quite boring and voila all my edges are distressed and inked and I absolutely love how this is looking I'm just going to go ahead and adhere my paper down bring my photos back in and let's see where this layout takes us I'm just using a black marker just to mark the placement of my photos as I'm going to be doing some mixed media and really I've got no idea why I do this step because even though I do it so that I don't put the mixed media where the photos are going to cover it I just land up slopping it everywhere so really it's a bit of a wasted wasted step but you know what it's done now and I'm going to go and get some gesso I did play around with the idea of a cheesecloth which I do use in the end spoiler alert so here I am, I've got my gesso, I'm going to water it down and take out a very soft paintbrush that I have there that I bought at some art store and I love how it just puts on the, the gesso and then I just rub it in with my finger and it just gave this whole sort of misty look to the, um, to the layout and I loved that because it was night, it was snowing and there was sort of this sort of eerie misty sort of vibe going and I just believe by doing this with the gesso it really sort of brought that whole eerie feeling to it but the reason why I used the gesso was not for the eerie sort of feeling for it it's I just wanted to lighten the paper up because it was just um, a bit dark and I wanted the photos to, to pop off it. I absolutely had a blast making this layout it was just a whole creative process for me I had no sketch no inspiration I just basically sat down and picked my papers picked my photos and I love to see where when I do that I just love to see where inspiration takes me so I've got this gorgeous stencil it's part of my core products for July and it's called Terrazzo from Kaisercraft and of course I'm using my newfound product my favorite product at the moment and it's the Nouveau uh, glitter glitter paste I absolutely love this I'm just going to put it down originally I wasn't going to put it everywhere but once I started stenciling it just goes over the whole page and I love the effect it just made it look like there was just silver snowflakes going down my whole layout it abs it's absolutely gorgeous and unfortunately the camera doesn't do it justice but I just love the the shimmer and the glimmer and everything that this Nuvo silver product gives I'm I'll be interested in trying other colors and seeing how they how they go so as you can see I'm trying out my cheesecloth I've just put it there to sort of see if I like it there or not and in the end spoiler alert I do keep the cheesecloth because I love the texture that it adds so I've gone back to my perforated sheets of die cuts from Authentique and I've pulled out a few little elements one of them is the gorgeous snowflakes and then I also got out a few hearts and bits and pieces so yes the cheesecloth is going to stay but I didn't have enough of it so I'm just going to match it, make another batch and I just all I do to dye my cheesecloth is I'm just using some distress spray in shabby, um, shabby shutters I believe it's called so I've set my cheesecloth aside to dry and I've brought everything back in now my off camera I did adhere my photos down and the snowflakes is adhered down and then I went looking for more um, ephemera and from the perforated sheet I've taken out these gorgeous little love hearts and this little tag that says remember I'm just sticking all that down in that middle photo just to add a little bit of interest then I will go back to my cheesecloth and this part it takes it's a little bit time consuming I must admit but I absolutely love the texture that it takes that it gives to the layout so all I'm going to do is I take my cheesecloth and I like to fray it I like to pull it all apart and give it sort of that sort of frayed look then I'm just going to adhere it down with some Tombow glue and just leave it so what my original thought was just to put it on a few photos at the top and down the bottom and sort of scatter it around but in the end I land up framing the whole not not the whole layout but just framing all the photos with this gorgeous cheesecloth it just gave it something to to draw your eye to the center of the photos 
I guess because the paper is just so busy and then you've got those gorgeous snowflakes coming down. So yes, so I'm really happy with how this layout came together in the end. It, well, it did take me, oh, it's all up. I think it took me like um, three hours. So I wanted to do some journaling and on my desk I've had this little piece of um, card stock that I had used the die cut for some other layout and I, what I did was I got my Distress Oxides in Antique Linen and I added, I just uh, used my little tool there and just added some colour and then I'm going to write my journaling about our ghost tour. That will go down onto the layout and this, this, uh, this 12 by 12 layout is almost complete. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching. I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel, channel if you haven't already done so. And please hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I do upload videos. So my next thing was just to add a very simple title. It's just going to be Ghost Tour. And I'm just going to be using some thickers that I've had in my stash. I forget what they were called, but I think I showed it at the beginning of the layout. I'm not sure. But anyway, down they go. And this is the layout. I absolutely love it it's my favorite layout that i've made to date with the with the core products for the month of july so thank you all everyone bye